Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be going over my skincare routine. I never thought I would do this video because I've never had the best skin, but so many of you guys have noticed my skin has really cleared up over the last year. So I wanted to show you the products that have really taken my skin to a whole new level in the past year. So quick backstory about my skin, my skin type. So I have dry skin. It becomes more normal if I take care of it. So normal to dry, but if I'm not taking care of it my skin can get pretty dry i have sensitive skin i have acne prone skin seriously very very acne prone and that's kind of the main focus of my skincare routine the thing that's changed the most is my lack of acne and i really started struggling with acne when i was about 18 years old i always had it during high school and whatnot but i figured that was like teenage hormonal acne when i turned 18 i started noticing my skin really changing and not for the better i have struggled on and off with the cystic acne, hormonal acne. Acne has really been the main struggle on my skin. I would have, because of the acne, a lot of texture on my skin, a lot of milia and little bumps everywhere. And again, like I said, it's been an on and off struggle because I'd taken a few trips to the dermatologist. They've given me acne medication, which worked great. Those were the times that my skin was clear, but it wasn't natural. You know, I was still putting medicine in my body. And this is the first time since I was 18 that I I am not on any acne medication and since I was probably a kid this is the best my skin has ever been. Now my skin is not perfect. I still get acne every now and then if my skin disagrees with a product or I'm not cleansing it properly but I don't get cystic acne anymore. If I do get a few spots here and there they're quite small and overall I mean this is the most clear my skin has been in years without the help of medication and you can see I don't have perfect skin. I have discoloration. I did get a spot here recently. I have a lot of freckles so that makes it hard to tell and I do have some discoloration on my skin as well but for the most part I can definitely tell you this is the best that my skin has been in years so I want to show you the products that have led me to this journey. Today's so. video is very kindly sponsored by Vanity Planet. I want to talk to you about the newest addition to my skincare routine which is the Era Iconic Facial Steamer. It's super cool. It's something that I've always been interested in. So basically Basically how it works is literal steam. I've always loved after getting out of the shower from the steam of the shower, your pores tend to be more open. So I like to do masks and very hydrating things after I shower, but now I have this steamer that can replace that. So it's very simple how it works. It has a very sleek design, which I think it's really cute to leave out. So you're gonna put distilled water. Do make sure it is distilled water in the tank in the back. And then you just simply press the on button and you steam your face and you can adjust the nozzle depending on what height you need it to be and they recommend that you steam your face maybe two to three times a week for no more than 15 minutes it's a pretty quick procedure but it's a great way to force yourself to just sit down and take care of your skin which has been my favorite part I'll put on a podcast and I'll just sit there and I'll steam my skin so why I want to incorporate steaming into my skincare routine is because steam Steaming is actually great for acne prone and dehydrated skin, which I feel like I'm the poster child for. The steam is going to clarify the impurities in the skin and get rid of dead skin cells as well, which that's going to really help with the texture of the skin. So these are the claims that Vanity Planet has on their website, but also from my research, they all tend to align. When you steam your face, it clarifies your skin complexion, promotes better blood circulation, moisturizes and softens the skin, helps skincare treatment penetrate deeper into the skin. That's what I was talking about. When you get out of the shower, you steam your face to put products into your skin afterwards because your skin will soak it right up because the pores are open and it helps skin achieve a healthy glow. Now, when I use this after my 10-15 minutes are up, I do notice that my skin definitely feels more hydrated. It has a nice glow to it. I actually just filmed a portion for you guys. So this is what my skin looks like immediately after. Some other few tricks that they said that you can do that I haven't personally tried so I can't speak for this but I think it's really cool that you have these options. You can actually add a few drops of your favorite serum into the oil basket that goes on the nozzle and you kind of have like a personal sauna at home or if you have essential oils you can also dip the essential oils into this sponge and then the essential oils will also be incorporated into it, this routine. So this has been a great way for me to pay extra attention to my skincare routine, give myself the time to relax, unwind, and take care of myself 
myself and my skin feels and looks great after I use it. So if you use my code MORGANSTEAM, you will get 50% off at checkout, making it just $47.99. And they also have after pay as an option. So four interest-free installments of $12 is all it would be. So let's get into the other products that I do. I will start off with my morning routine and then I will talk about my evening routine. I've learned with my skin that simplicity has worked the best. I've watched a lot of skincare videos and I just feel like there's a lot for a routine. I don't know, I feel like for me it's hard to pinpoint then what products are actually working and what are not. So let's start off with the cleanser that I use. Let's say I just woke up in the mornings and the evening. So this is both my morning and evening cleanser. I use the Good Molecules Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel. I've been kind of a nomad when it comes to cleansers. I really haven't found one that I love, love, love and will only use, but this is the one that has been my absolute favorite. I definitely plan on repurchasing this and it's very affordable. It just leaves my skin feeling very clean. The ingredients are really simple and this is one of the first cleansers that I feel like has actually added to my routine. For me, the cleansers just kind of cleaned my skin before. They did their job. They weren't the stars of the show for my skincare routine, but this is the first cleanser in a while that I feel like has also played a part in improving my skin just really easy simple clean ingredients and it's very very gentle highly recommend this one so this is the cleanser that I'll use and then I just go straight into moisturizer in the morning my favorite everyday moisturizer is the Charlotte's magic cream I want something light and something not too heavy so I really enjoy this one I always like to have a container of this for every day just because it's lightweight but it's also highly moisturizing she also has a lighter magic cream but I prefer just this one because I do have dry skin so this really does improve my skin and lastly all I will use in the morning is a sunscreen now again I'm a nomad with sunscreens right now I still haven't found the perfect one before I like the centella purito one that one was my all-time favorite but it got recalled because the SPF was wrong so lately I've been using the super goop unseen sunscreen I have to say this isn't my absolute favorite I'm looking for one that's a bit more hydrating on the skin it works I've been using using it every day. It's easy to apply. It's reliable and it doesn't make me break out. So I've been enjoying this one, but I have some ones that I'm going to try after this one. So this one is not a must have from this routine. And that's all I do in the morning. I find that simplicity is best for me. Let's go over my evening skincare routine just because it's a little bit more complex than the morning. So let's say I have a makeup on and this isn't always the case, but if I do have makeup on, I use my Garnier Micellar cleansing water you must get the one in the blue because this one removes makeup the best I find this one is very gentle on my skin it doesn't break me out and it removes makeup the best I know some people have opposing opinions than mine but again my skin is so picky this is one that I know works for me and it doesn't break me out I get a bundle on Amazon that's the cheapest deal that you can get from these and I think it does an amazing job removing makeup now after that again this is another must-have in my skincare routine for days that I wear makeup I use the Erno Laszlo to Toxifying cleansing oil. This essentially gets rid and melts down the makeup residue that is left over on your skin. I do a double cleansing routine in the evening. This is part one. The oil breaks down that makeup and gets anything that was left over from the micellar water. And this was a game changer in my routine when I included it. It's been in my routine for the last year or so, maybe even longer, probably a couple of years, a year and a half ish. And my skin is so much cleaner. I break out so much less because of this because if I sleep with any type of makeup on my skin I will break out so I can't have any leftover makeup on my skin so this is the guy that helps ensure I get all of the makeup off of my skin it's really gentle highly recommend it after I have done my oil cleanser I'll go back to my good molecules rose water daily cleansing gel I use this morning and night so this will then actually cleanse the face get off the oil or if there's any leftover makeup normally there's not at this point but it will do that as well so we're back to this guy following my cleansing I then use this was the number one game-changing product I would say in my routine it's something that will for 
ever be in my routine. This is the Ola Henriksen Glow Dark Spot Toner. If you have acne prone skin or you have textured skin, this is the number one product that you have to get from this video. You have to give it a try. Before this product, I'm not sure I was really a believer in skincare actually making that big of a difference on the skin. I thought definitely it was genetics. I was meant to have acne. I'll have it for the rest of my life. This product completely changed my perspective on skincare products products and the importance of them. So I do a few drops on my cotton pad and I just press it into the skin at night. I only do this at night and when I was going through the beginning of the intense makeup routine to get rid of my acne, I did this every night. I now do it every other night because it is a harsher product. I don't recommend using this every night for the rest of your life, but I think every other night it does a great job. Now this is a facial toner and this is the reason I don't get acne anymore. I mean, of course, you know, the double cleansing helped, but this got rid of all of the acne on my skin. Like I said, I barely get acne anymore. If I do, there's smaller breaks out. As soon as I started using this, my acne stopped. I was going through a really rough phase with my acne. About the time that COVID was starting to go around, my acne was crazy. And then I incorporated this into my routine and my acne ever since then has stopped. This is great. And then another reason why I love this, along with the acne, I had so much texture along my chin. When I would put makeup on, you would see just little tiny dots all along, like so many. I always felt a little bit insecure about that, but I had the acne on top of it, so my skin was just like mountains everywhere. I don't have that anymore. This is the smoothest my skin has been, so this also got rid of the texture that I had. I cannot recommend this enough. If you have any type of acne texture, this product literally changed my life. <laughs> Not even exaggerating. So we've done the toner. Now I go into my hydration products. I don't use an eye cream every night because I do find that that over moisturization does cause some milia, but I would say three times a week I use an eye cream. I use the Good Molecules Yerba May Wake Up Eye Gel. This technically probably should only be used in the morning because it's supposed to wake you up, but it's such a lightweight eye gel. It doesn't give me milia, so I have to use it for that reason. When eye creams are too thick, I just, I can't milia, and it makes me so sad because I want to start using eye creams, but this is the perfect lightweight eye gel. Again, it's probably better used in the morning because it does help wake up the eyes you have somewhat of a cooling effect but I just use it at night I really like to hydrate my skin at night then for moisturizer this has been my current favorite heavy moisturizer before bed I'll use this in the morning if my skin feels really dry this is the Kopari coconut water moisture cream I did not expect to love this as much as I did but oh my it really does help with the hydration of my skin especially in the winter time this one is going to be great. So this one is fairly new to my routine, but I really feel like my skin has been thanking me for using this. If you have dry skin, this is a really great everyday moisturizer. It's thicker than the normal moisturizer. It requires a little bit more time to work it into the skin, but it really has made a difference. Now, these products are not part of my everyday routine, but these are the products that I use when I need it, when I either have acne or when my skin is really dry. So we'll start off with the two face masks that I use pretty regularly. So daytime mask. If I'm hanging out at home and I have some extra time to myself to take care of my skin, I really love the Pharmacy Honey Potion face mask. So it's very interesting how this works. You put it on the skin, it feels like honey, and as you work it in, it starts to get not necessarily foamy, but it thickens up and it warms your face. So I think that's the main reason why I like it, but I do feel like whenever I use this, my skin feels really Really refreshed. It feels newly hydrated and I just really like it for the daytime. It's a fun experience and it also helps with my hydration and to brighten up and add a glow to my skin. The other face mask that I use at night. So if my skin's feeling pretty dry, I like to use a sleeping mask. Lately, I've been enjoying the Saturday Skin Yuzu Vitamin C Sleep Mask. I like the way that it smells. If you don't like fragrance products, you won't like this. 
but it has a citrusy scent to it. I feel like this really does help with the hydration of my skin at night. So it's a sleeping mask, so you put it on before bed and it stays on your skin overnight. I just think sleeping masks are fantastic for those of you with dry skin because it does the work while you're sleeping. And this has been really, really nice. I've been enjoying this one a lot. With face masks though, I'm not too picky. I don't stick to a particular face mask every single time. These are just ones that I find myself going back to, but I get a lot of face masks to try and I always think it's really fun to experiment with them. The products mentioned prior are the ones that are like my actual routine. This last product in my skincare routine is for when I have acne if I have a spot. This is a product that I've been using for 10 plus years and I will never stop picking it up. This is the Clinique Acne Solutions Clinical Clearing Gel. This is a salicylic acid uh, acne medication and I really feel like this does help dry out my acne. So if I get a big spot I'll put it over the acne and it really does accelerate the process of it going through it's time to get off my face you'll notice it really does dry out the acne so if you need a spot treatment like I said I've been using this for 10 plus years and I don't really talk about it enough because it's one of those products where I just kind of use them on the side I don't think to mention it to you guys and I've used it for so long it's nothing exciting for me to mention but this will always be in my skincare routine it's one of the best spot treatments I've ever tried tried for acne so I highly recommend it. All right you guys there we have it that was my skincare routine. These are all of the products that have cured my skin and have gotten it to the most healthy and clean and moisturized it's ever been. Wow my hair is taking frizz to a whole new level today so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any products that you think would be great for my skin type based on the products that I like because I am no skincare expert at all let me know down below. I know a lot of you probably know a lot more about skincare than me. Is there something missing from my routine? I would love to hear that. And again, if you are interested in adding the Vanity Planet Era Ionic Facial Steamer, make sure you use that code MORGANSTEAM at checkout for 50% off. Let me know if you pick it up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.